Today I'm making something that I make for Mike and myself all the time and we eat something and then later later in the day or in the evening we have a sweet tooth and I haven't prepared one of the uh, desserts that take a little longer. So I started preparing a lot of different kind of quick desserts and one of his favorite are these little truffle balls, I call them. This one is made with Brazil nuts and dates and lacuma, which is a wonderful superfood. Right here is lacuma powder. So you see what that is if you don't have it. It gives it this like kind of mapley nutty flavor. It's really good. And I also put a little maca in. I don't have my maca in a bag, but it's here and I use maca in my drinks. It's really good for hormonal things for women and men both. Maca, M-A-C-A. -A. It's really great. So this has a little maca in it. I like putting superfoods in. It's very simple. It's got salt, the sweetener, the nuts. It gets chopped up in the food processor and then rolled in coconut. And really, that's all there is to it. And they're great if you keep them in the refrigerator and then just pop them out when you need them. We love to have this late at night with a little tea, a little green tea. It's really scrumptious dessert and really fast. So I'm going to show you how to make another version. There's several versions of those little truffle balls. And by the way, I'm going to post these recipes in the recipe section on my website, Young on Raw Food. Okay, so this is really easy. I'm going to make a small amount. This was like a half a cup of nuts, so that one that you saw there. This is a combination of walnuts and almonds. You can use pecans, any kind of nuts you want. And this is a cup right in here. So I'm going to pour that in the food processor. This is so simple, you're not going to believe it. I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dates, whatever, about a cup, that's all you need. I'm going to chop that up just for a little bit, and then I'm going to add a few more things that are really good. And you can decide how chunky, this is not finished yet, but you can decide how chunky or how fine you want it. A little bit, not on the real fine side, but a little bit chopped up. No big chunks of nuts, but you could do that. Anyway. Make sure this sticks together for rolling. If not, you have to add more dates. So I'm going to squeeze this in my palm like this. See, this sticks together great. That's what you want. You want to just do it till it sticks together. Now I'm going to put some um, coconut oil in here. You know, I just saw this test that's been done, a research that's been done, that coconut, coconut oil is really good for Alzheimer's disease. So this is great to use for a lot of dishes. I don't know how that's coming up yet, but I read it on two articles already, so I haven't checked it out more than that, but sounds good to me. I'm going to use maybe uh, not quite a third of a cup of shredded coconut. You can use larger coconut pieces if you want, but that's dried, sun-dried. And of course, you can do it just like that, but I think I'll add a little cacao powder because I love that little bit of a chocolate taste. Now the cacao, the coconut oil really makes it nice and creamy. And sometimes when you're sometimes when you're rolling this, it, oh gosh, I just opened that up and the smell of the cacao powder is so good. All right, I'm gonna just taste it because I like to. Hmm, that is really good. I'm gonna put a dash of salt. One more. Not much came out of there, that's why it looked like I didn't go well. Voila! You're not going to believe that this is your dessert already. So you want, don't want to make the balls too big, you want to take them out. I think this is about the right size. You can see with my hand proportion how big that is. If I leave these out on the counter, I might eat some all. So I put them in the refrigerator. Okay, now this is the little part. You're just going to roll them in the coconut. That's it. Press it in a little bit. Can you believe that you have a dessert, how fast that was? The kids love this. Oops, see, I have my own phone ringing there. Okay, and then, you'll have to excuse me, I forgot to turn my phone off. <laughs> I'm pretty funny, huh? <laughs> okay, it's probably one of my children. Here's another one, okay. There you go. 
It's a nice ring anyway, isn't it? There you go. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? These are just so easy. The kids could roll them. If your hands get a little sticky from this, sometimes it does, you can just wet them. Do it with a little water. But this is just the perfect consistency. The dates help it stick together. The dates are the only sweetener that's in here. In the other ones, I use dates and um, that's it. And I'm trying something new. All these recipes are going to be on my website. And I'm trying something new I'm going to show you. And if it turns out, that'll be on the website too. Let me just rinse my fingers off here. So you just roll those up. That's all there is. So I wanted to show you this, what I started to make. I'm not sure yet how this is going to turn out. I used to love these little sesame candies. Sesame and it was made with honey. So I'm giving it a little attempt here. And I don't think without cooking the sugar or doing what they normally do to make these, it will stay solid without putting some coconut on it. So I'm working on this one for those who don't eat nuts and love this idea. I think these are going to work out really good with sesame seeds. And if this is perfected, I'll put it on my site, uh, the recipe. And if I'm still working on it, I will put it on eventually. So I want to thank you all. I missed you so much for being in my kitchen today. And I love you, as you know. Thank you so much for all your support and all the wonderful emails you sent me. I always answer your questions. So I love you. Bye.